God bless everybody, no matter where you are, in the powerful name of the Lord Jesus. I welcome you all to his holy presence, and I thank the Lord that today we continue on our series, Bloodlines. And today we are going to be speaking about curses, blessings, and blood. And I pray that God will bless you as you share this. Let somebody know that will let somebody know that will let somebody know that will let somebody know that the prophet is live and God will change us forever. Yesterday, I know we spoke about a lot of things and a lot of people are transformed and I know a lot of people are shocked about the truths that we shared. Today, I'm joined by um, my son, the bishop, Reuel, Pastor, Pastor Reu. <laughs> Don't call him Rayu. He will do a duke kid. <laughs> back, back, bark it. <laughs> Bobby. <laughs> Bishop Street Fighter. <laughs> My son, the great apostle, Rayuel. He calls himself Pastor Rayuel, but Amen. he's Apostle Rayuel. And uh, our, our very own... <laughs> Holy Nephilim, <laughs> our super athletes, uh, Lord, our superstar evangelists, prophetess. <laughs> Which one do you want? <laughs> evangelist. You say, okay, we'll give you evangelist. Oh, dang, I was close. <laughs> <laughs> evangelist Mamiche. Amen. But God is good. We love the Lord Jesus and we thank the Lord Jesus for this mighty opportunity Amen. to be in his presence. And we know something good is going to happen. Amen. Amen. Now, Amen. yesterday, I know I went very deep with some things and I know some people are still like scratching their head wondering what is going on. Yeah. And I'm going to explain to you why it is important for you to understand bloodlines. Mm -hmm. Amen why and why it is important for you to understand bloodlines. Amen. Amen. Now, if you look at ancient days, right? Let's take an example like England. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The blood of the queen, the blood of the queen had to be preserved even though there were French, there were uh, different uh, kind of people that came through and everything. Yeah. But the blood of the queen had to be preserved so well yes. for the kingdom of England to stand. Mm -hmm. yeah. There is no kingdom that was a kingdom without being a transfer of blood. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The reason being is that the quality of rulership is not in the character, it's actually in the blood. Mm. Mm. Okay. So royalty is not a mindset. Yeah. It is a DNA thing. Mm. People who came from a family of leaders, mm -hmm. there's a manner the way they do things that you know where they came from. Yeah. It is because this thing is inside of their blood. Mm. Mm -hmm. So in, in, in the regular world or, 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 or in the physical world, we, we have what we call uh, uh, um, electric lines mm -hmm. okay. that is used to transfer electricity from the power plant to wherever it's going to. Yeah. Yeah. Now, God ordained for your blood to be how life is transferred from one person to another person to another person mm -hmm. yeah. to another person. To a certain time that God actually told the is children of Israel not to marry outside of their people. Mm -hmm. In order that there will be no contamination of the blood. Right. Yeah. That's good. That's good. That's deep. I don't know if somebody is getting it. Yeah. Because the moment other nations who served other gods entered and the blood intermingled, mm -hmm. immediately they will be inside of a person the natural desire to go and seek out other spirits. Wow. Not because they actually want that. It is in their blood. They can't help it. Wow, wow, yeah, wow, wow. Yeah, yeah. Their children who are born, they're already bloodthirsty. They want to murder. They want to kill. They want to be violent. They want to do. That's true. It is not because of any. It is somebody in their bloodline wow. did these things and these things are in their blood. Wow. Wow. That is why That's the electric chair is not solving anything. Goodness. How many people have they executed? People are still doing the same crime. And you'll notice many of the people on death row, they don't even know why they did it. Yeah. yeah. That's good. Wow. 
are. That's good. That's true. Something else just takes over. They just right, do something. Right. They don't know why they did it. The mm -hmm. black outer. Wow, wow, wow. That's true. Can everybody hear me? Yes. 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 yes, yes, yes. Am I clear? Mm -hmm. So now you find that there is something passed on by blood. Mm. Mm -hmm. And spiritual things are conducted by blood. Yes. There are physical things that are passed on, but they are spiritual. They, for anything spiritual to operate on the earth, it needs blood. blood. Yeah. That's good. That makes sense. If you go to Genesis chapter 3, we see man disobeying God. Mm -hmm. And as a result of disobeying God, God releases a curse. God is the first one to curse. What does he say? Woman, I will increase pain. Mm -hmm. your pain in childbearing. Yes. Yeah. Number two, you will want to rule over your husband, but he will rule over you. Mm -hmm. Number three, <laughs> I will put a fight between your seed and the seed of Satan. They will bruise, he will bruise his heel, but he shall crush his head. Yes. So God is transferring a curse. He's speaking a curse yeah. unto Eve. Yes. And it's being embedded in the blood. God looks at Adam and he said, because you listened to your wife, cursed is the ground on your behalf. Out of the sweat of your bros, will you get anything from the ground? And the ground will produce thorns for your sake. Life will become difficult. Now, what you don't understand is that both spiritual things and physical things mm -hmm. identify you not by the name you come in, but they identify you by the blood that is in you. Wow. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. Help us. Help God us. himself identifies you by your blood. Sure. Wow. He knows your name, but your identity is in the blood. Wow. Thank you. Right now, if you want to know where you came from, what do they do? Ancestry.com. Yes, yes. Why do they do that? They will even tell you what country you came from, who migrated where. Mm -hmm. But if they were spiritual, if they had a prophetic way to test it, they will even tell you who was a wizard, who was a good hey. man, who was a king's man, right. who was this. Right. They will track all those wow. things in there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, are you getting what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So God is embedding a curse that is being spoken it is not coming on the body, it's entering in the blood. Mm -hmm. And Adam, already God says, because you do this, you will surely die. For certain, mm -hmm. now death mm -hmm. has entered. Mm -hmm. You know, scientifically, the cells that are in your body mm -hmm. have the ability to regenerate, to keep your body young, and you're not supposed to die. Technically, science is actually confused on how to make sure that the cells keep doing what they're supposed to do. It's true. At a certain point, they stop doing certain things and they don't do it anymore. That's true. So when we eat healthy and do things like that, we are giving ourselves an incentive to do something that will preserve us longer. Mm -hmm. yeah. But the truth is the cells that are supposed to keep you immortal, they're not doing their job anymore. They stopped. Wow. <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> Lord and Jesus. this happened when Adam did that. God said, now you, the day you do this, you surely die. So the curse was waiting to enter the blood the moment they disobeyed. My, <laughs> my, my. Chai. So whether you are born again, yes. whether you speak in tongues, yes. whether you are not born again, no matter what you are, one day you will die. Unless the rapture comes, you will die. <laughs> Really? <laughs> okay. 
But the body was not created to die. But the curse that was released entered the blood. Wow. And at a certain point, it has to stop. My goodness. So there is a spiritual thing controlling your blood. Like an example, people like si Simon Cowell mm -hmm. of uh, American <laughs> Idol. Mm -hmm. They literally paid, uh, uh, th th there's a documentary I saw years ago. These people paid so much money mm -hmm. for their bodies to be kept in like an ice, an ice chamber mm -hmm. to preserve their body until science figures out how to resurrect the consciousness. Mm or to transfer the consciousness mm -hmm. back into the body. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's true. So they've spent millions of dollars to do that. This is a real thing. Go look at it. There are so many people take the blood, preserve the brain. One day we'll figure out how to do this because they understand that the body was not supposed, supposed to, to die. die. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It doesn't make sense why it dies. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. They are trying to run away from the curse. It's not going anywhere. That's powerful. In Genesis chapter 6, man kept on sinning. People are dying, but people are living uh, 900 years, 900, you know, 900 years, 800 years. Mm -hmm. So what we call 30s now, in those days is when you are like 600 years, uh, 500 years, mm -hmm. now you're in your 30s because you're midway. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because remember, a day is like a thousand years unto God. Right. So if you lived to be a thousand, then you lived a day. Goodness. So when the Bible is saying our life is like a vapor, it's literal yeah. as far as God is concerned. Yes. It's just so quick because we don't even, now we live in, in hours. Mm -hmm. According to... <laughs> <laughs> uh, this yeah. is good. Crowd. Wow. Yeah. I, I don't know if somebody is getting this. It's yeah. making sense. We get it, we get it, we get it. It's making sense. Wow. So it doesn't matter what is going on. Genesis chapter 6, God comes. He's upset because humans are having babies with demons. Mm -hmm. God says it like this. Go to Genesis chapter 6. Amen. I believe verse 5. Amen. Genesis 6, 5. And God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, mm -hmm. and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. Mm -hmm. And it repented the Lord that he had made man on earth. God has never regretted, but that day he regretted. Keep going. And it grieved him at his heart. Mm -hmm. And the Lord said, I will destroy man whom I have created from the face of the earth, both man and beast and the creeping thing mm -hmm. and the fowls of the air, mm -hmm. for it repenteth me that I have made them. Mm -hmm. But Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. Uh, read verse 3. Verse 3 says, mm. And the Lord said, My spirit uh -huh. sh shall not always strive with man, for that he also is flesh. Mm -hmm. Yet his days shall be hundred and twenty years. <laughs> e Nobody's living beyond that age. Yes, yes, yes. If you get to 100, it's like a big time achievement. Yes, yeah. that's true. Passing 120. Some people can make it to 120, mm -hmm. yeah. but you can't even live anymore, like yeah, any time now. Yeah. <laughs> you're just a shell. <laughs> so true. So God released another thing in the DNA. Oh he my said, no, Lord. I'm giving them too much time and they're doing more evil because they have more time. Wow. Let me shorten this time. From oh now on, Jesus. their days will be this much. But guess where that DNA went into? It went into who? Noah. Oh. So everybody that now came from Noah, wow. their ears oh, were cut short. Oh, the curse went. Yes. Wow. 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 So there are two age-related curses that were released. A hundred percent. The first one in the garden where he said, now you will die before yes. you live forever. Yeah. Then he now said, now you, you will go back die. to the ground that you came from. Okay. And then uh -huh. now the second one is here where it's saying, now I'm cutting the, the time short. Ah, time. these guys have too much time on their My hands. My Jesus. So when you're ah. praying for long yeah, life much. now, you say, Father, give me <laughs> long too life. Much. Father, uh, 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 Father, I want to live a long life. 
I want to live a long life. Right. For us, 120 is long. Mm. To God is like, ah, two seconds. Oh, so that's man. why when now people misbehave, God is just laughing. He's like, I can, the Methuselahs lived 980 something. Jesus. That's the oldest man in record that ever lived. Mm -hmm. Others were like 800, mm -hmm. 700. Mm -hmm. Enoch lived 300 and something years. Mm -hmm. You imagine 300 years. You've seen the world literally change before your eyes. Wow. 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 Yeah. Oh my goodness. So like, uh, you see, right now people get married in their mid 20s, mm -hmm. early 30s. Mm -hmm. If it was like that, uh, you leave your parents' house when you're 200 years. <laughs> 300 <laughs> years is when you're like, okay, oh, you got to go. I can't even imagine. Yeah. <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. <laughs> wow. <laughs> 200 years. <laughs> All right, you're 200. Time to move out. <laughs> like, what? So in those days, if you had like two, three children, it's like... Wow. But you see, the curse went into somebody's blood. Now, we can't call it an evil curse mm -hmm. because the intent is not actually to be evil. Mm -hmm. The intent is to make the coming of Christ be quicker because if we lived longer than the, <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Wow. Evil increases because you see somebody can be evil, but their time is so short. Mm -hmm. The next generation, the generation after that will not even remember them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> You're too much. <laughs> Do you wow. get what I'm saying? That's yeah. too much. Like right now, if I ask Andrew who is Hitler, he doesn't know. Yeah. Me, I grew up and I heard about Hitler. I didn't really know who he was. Right. Wow. You get what I'm saying? Right. Yes, yes. It's like we grew up without. We didn't. We were not there when World War Two. Was it World War Two? Mm -hmm. Happened. We were not there. You know what I mean? We we came after years after. Our parents, it was fresh in their minds, because they were kids at the time that this was happening. Yeah. Grandpa. Do you, do you get what I'm saying? Yes. So, so what am I trying to explain here? What am I trying to explain? Mm. Is that the blood was designed to be the channel in which curses travel. Wow. Okay, that makes sense. That's clear. Teach us, Rob. That is clear. So there are things that, anything that, uh, 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 Anything that flows in the purpose of God. Mm -hmm. Everything that flows in the purpose of God yeah. is not a curse. It's not an evil curse. Okay. It is God's purpose and will. Mm. Okay. So that's why you find when God spoke, it is not called, it doesn't say God cursed them. And God said this, but we understand that it is a curse. Because the word curse is meant for evil. Okay. Okay. Purpose always serves our good, good. because everything is ordained to help us. Right. Yeah. Now, where am I going with this? I'm trying to show you why it is necessary to understand what is flowing in your veins. Amen. There are also blessings that were released also in the blood. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank God. Oof. She shall be called woman, for she'll be the mother of nations. She'll be the mother of all creation. And this shall be this and this and this. All these things still go to one place. It still goes in the blood. Wow. Are, are, are you getting what I'm saying? Yes, yeah. Papa, that makes sense. Makes a lot of sense. Now, uh, let, me, let me push it a little further. Amen. Please. Push, push, push. So purification, purification was designed. Purification was designed to remove any blemish from you, whether in your blood or before you, and even what you may have done. So that when God now is using you, it's as if you are, you've never done anything. Wow. Mm, 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 mm. wow. Okay. That is what to be consecrated is. An example is God is declaring to Adam and Eve, you shall surely die. Mm. Mm -hmm. That was the day death was introduced into the world. Wow. He was just waiting for whose blood it will go into. Wow. Mm. 
they get kicked out of the garden. Mm -hmm. Cain and Abel, Cain gets jealous. They were in the field one day, something, it doesn't tell you why he killed him. He just said one day they were in the field and Cain just rose up and killed his brother. Mm -hmm. When God came to him and asked him, where is your brother? He said, am I my brother's keeper? He said, his blood is crying, crying from, from the ground. ground. It means Cain blacked out and killed him. Eesh. Okay, you people didn't hear Eesh. what I said. Something was inside he of was. his blood. He didn't even. Wow. That's wild. That is wild. Ah. It wasn't the devil. The Bible simply, God told him, hey, listen, what you're doing right now, if you do right, you'll be accepted. But if you don't, sin is knocking at your door and his desire is to have you. Mm. That thing that was flowing in the air that people can die now, mm -hmm. found an opportunity to take people quickly now because now it's in the blood. Wow. Whoever is doing right doesn't have the spirit of murder. It can't enter them. Right. But this guy entered his blood. The moment he entered his blood, ah, he was the first one to kill. So everybody that is killing other people, where is that DNA coming from? From Cain. From Cain. Oh, wow. Lord wow. Jesus. Wow. That, that makes sense. Oh, man. Wow. <laughs> are you okay sir okay we're about to go somewhere facebook is it is Take facebook us. okay uh -oh. so now i want us to go to the book of kings quickly Amen. let's go to the book of kings Amen. the book of kings mm -hmm. i believe second kings if i'm not wrong Second Kings mm -hmm. chapter 41, no, chapter 4, mm -hmm. verse 1. 2 Kings chapter 4, verse 1, I believe to 7, but I'll tell you where to stop. Amen. Now watch this, listen to this. Now, uh, Second Kings 4 from verse 1. Mm -hmm. Now they cried a certain woman of the wives of the sons of the prophets unto Elisha. Notice, this woman was married to a prophet. Mm -hmm. And this prophet was one of Elijah's, Elisha's mentees. Mm -hmm. He wasn't Eli Elisha's spiritual son. He was one of the sons of the prophets. Okay. This is part of the group who were around Elijah at his time yeah. that ended up also following Elisha, but they were never carrying the DNA. Okay. Mm. Listen to this. Thy servant, my husband, is dead. Mm -hmm. And thou knowest that thy servant did fear the Lord. And the creditor is come to take unto him my two sons to be bondmen. Uh -huh. Verse 2. And Elisha said unto her, what shall I do for thee? Tell me, what hast thou in the house? Stop right there. One of the most important cleansing that people need to cleanse themselves of mm -hmm. is debt. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. Help us. Because debt enslaves your descendants. Wow. wow. That's good, Papa. Wow. Hey, hee hee. <laughs> that was deep. This that is a prophet deep. that has died, mm -hmm. but he feared God, mm -hmm. but he still was bound with debt. Mm. Wow. And because of the debt, there were children were not only going to pay for it, mm -hmm. they were becoming slaves. Wow. Man. They were not only going to become people who are going to serve until the debt of their father is paid. Mm -hmm. No, they were becoming slaves. Debt enslaves your descendants. Wow. They will become slaves to something. It can be addiction. It can be they will work for people for the rest of their life. Mm -hmm. They will be always in a position of bondage. Yeah. Never a position of freedom. Yeah. 
Okay, I feel like I'm talking to myself. You're talking to me. Help us. Oh, wow. Please, this is please, please help us. I, I, I feel like I'm talking to myself. We no, we hear you. Hear. We hear you. Debt. You, you may not suffer. You may take all the credits you want. Mm -hmm. uh, but the moment you die, you just introduced a spirit wow. that will bound you, bind your children. Wow. wow. Have you ever seen a man who came from debt that their children are free? No. Wow. No. That makes so much sense. Oh. Why do you think it makes sense? Because, I, I mean, I just think about, like, my own family history. Like, mm -hmm. there is no one. No one that is not in debt or that owes something. No one owns anything. No one owns their own home, owns a business, mm -hmm. owns anything. Everyone is in debt to something. All of us. And you notice their lifestyle is always work, 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 All work, work, work. And he never pays anything. No retirement mm -hmm. ever. What do you wow. think of this guru? Yeah, uh, I'm just thinking about like even like in Africa, in African countries in general. Yes. The governments are consistently like borrowing fun funds from overseas. <laughs> then they'll wow. get, now they were like in a consistent state of needing aid, but then we get aid to borrow more money so that we pay off. So it's like, and then even they say, oh, the taxpayers, our grandchildren are gonna pay for this. And then now when the grandchildren come, now they're working to pay taxes to pay off the debts that their parents, it's, it's like a whole cycle, the country never moves again. forward. Even our country is trillions of dollars in debt. And, and notice this, all these things, all these things, all these things, I mean, I'm sorry to be political for a no, second. No, help us, help us. Let me nice. ask you a question. America is borrowing money from China. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who is China borrowing from? Nobody. 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 Why do you think America is becoming number two and China is rising up? That's You're already true. a slave to them. Yeah. They've always been. Why is it that their, their communist party oh is fighting man. America, but America is borrowing money from them? And future generations will pay for it through No, nobody, words. listen, it was never, you see, let me tell you the mystery of debt. Amen. Debt was never meant to be paid. Debt was it's unto enslavement. Wow. That was the goal of debt. Wow. That is why God tells us, why oh do you think God. God says, he doesn't say, we shall give to nation. What does it say? Mm. You shall lend to nation. Wow. Why is God, why does God want you to wow. be a lender? So they can always be in debt. <laughs> so what God wants to do is he wants to bind them unto himself through you. So they will never escape wow. God. It's a spiritual system. Cut the line. Cut the line. Yes, it's a spiritual system. Everyone go home. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. Can you pay God back for what he did to you, for no. you and me, for, through Jesus? No. Never. It was never meant to be paid. Never. Yeah. It was meant so that we can be slaves of who? Christ. Christ. Servants <laughs> of Christ. We can't escape him because we can't wow. pay for it. We can't buy our freedom. We can't do nothing about it. It was unto enslavement. But the good thing is that our Lord and God is He's good. Merciful. Yeah. Thank you, He Jesus. has made us servants unto freedom. So we are bound into freedom. We can't wow. escape freedom. We can't escape the blessing. We can't. Ex Debt was never meant. <laughs> it was never designed <laughs> for, you to, for you to pay it back. Oh no. Oh my gosh. It was th that's not the purpose of a debt. Wow. Do you know why a mortgage? Do you know what a mortgage is? Do you know what the word mortgage means? Look it up quickly. Teachers. Oh. Lord help us. Wow. <laughs> yeah, what does it say? It means a legal agreement by which a bank or other creditor lends money mm. at interest in exchange for taking a title of the debtor's property with the condition that the conveyance of title becomes void upon the payment of debt. So you imagine, now listen to what a mortgage is. You put a down payment, they give you a certain amount. Let's say your house, you want a house, okay, let's say your house is 500,000. You put a down payment of 20%. Mm -hmm. 
That's what, 50,000? I think it's 10%. Oh, no, it's 10% it's, uh, is 50,000. Mm -hmm. You, you 50,000, right? You put 50,000 down. You live, and the mortgage is for 30 years. So they have put a timeline pressure on you. By this time, you have to pay us back. This is the interest, and this is this. Mm -hmm. So I believe the first 10 years, you're only paying interest. That's how mortgages are designed, right? That's true. So you are paying mortgage. You're paying mortgage, you're given 30 years or 35 years. Mm -hmm. 30 years, you're paying mortgage. The first 10 years, you're just paying them interest. Yeah, then you start chopping back the money that now they gave you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, but listen to this and listen to how crazy this is. You miss a payment for one month, mm. the agreement becomes void. They can take the house. Mm. Wow. Hey. So they're in a win-win situation. You're not winning. Yeah. The only way you win is if you can break that cycle and take what is yours. Is yours. Then the bank is disappointed. Because their goal of giving you is not for you to be a homeowner. It's because they give you 30, 30 years. They calculate, okay? Anyone who's buying a home is between the ages, most of the people. Let's say 30 to 35, let's say 40 years old. Mm -hmm. If they give you a 30-year mortgage, they expect you to die within that time. Mm -hmm. And if you on. die between that time, they will take it back oh, yes. and pass it on because they know for sure your kids most of the time won't pay for it. Yeah, wow. It is a game. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Whew. wow. I, I don't know if somebody's listening we're to listening, me. Papa. Yeah, we're listening, Papa. It is a legalized evil. Yes, yes. <laughs> Where's Dr. Dirty Wine? The baby. He's with the baby. The baby. Okay. <laughs> Auntie Lolo, you want to come join us on set? Okay, come, come sit here. Come, come sit. <laughs> Don't worry, our mics will, will pick up. So, so it is... So... <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. This is true, Papa. You know, it is, it is mm. evil. It is a legalized evil mm -hmm. because the goal is enslavement. Mm -hmm. You lay back because you have a place to rest your head. You are going to rest it anyway. Mm -hmm. Then let's go to apartment. Mm -hmm. ah. Some of you will get an apartment. It's a nice apartment. Mm -hmm. Nothing wrong with it. Mm -hmm. You decorate it like it is the best place on earth and rightfully so. Mm -hmm. One day that person can decide, okay, I want to sell this building. Mm -hmm. yes. And you have to go find somewhere. Mm. So you spent 50 years living in a place where you paid, you paid, you paid. But the day you die, it's not even yours. You are leasing. Wow. <laughs> so okay. even though it is comfortable to keep you mm -hmm. for a particular time, yes. it's not it is not designed for you to make a life there. Mm -mm. Wow. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. It is a way that you are serving somebody else mm -hmm. because they gave you land you are sleeping on. Mm -hmm. Wow. When God wanted to establish Israel mm -hmm. to become a nation, mm -hmm. what was the first thing that God did? God told them, I have land yeah, that I've yeah. prepared for you. Yes, yes, yes. Mm. That's right. That's right. That's Whoever right. does not own land is already a slave. Wow. Mm. Because you have no place of your own. So mm. wherever you are, you will always be paying your way through. <laughs> mm. <laughs> That's good, Papa. So good, Papa. Wow. Wow. This is too much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Cappuccino. <laughs> <laughs> so, Papa, it's almost just better to wait until you can own something than to just like no, 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 no. But you see, the thing is, you have to. Word. That's why you have to know where the grace of God is. Amen. Mm. Amen. Uh, let me give you an example why this is important. Amen. According to the history of Israel, what was the first time that Israel was enslaved? Teachers. Let Let me teachers. test Uncle Musa. Hello. 
uh, when was the first <laughs> time Israel was enslaved? Like the exact year or just... When did they start becoming slaves? When they, were, when they stayed in Egypt. You see, God brings drought on the earth. Mm -hmm. They mm. go to Egypt for a moment. They are supposed to go buy grains, go back to their nation. Mm -hmm. But because Joseph lived there, mm -hmm. they didn't want to go back to their country. Mm -hmm. They left their country mm -hmm. because somewhere else was comfortable. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yet if you look at the history, mm -hmm. it was not the first time that drought came to the land of God. Mm -hmm. yeah. wow. In the time of Abraham, there was a drought. Mm -hmm. In the time of Isaac, there was a drought. It was not the first thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But this was the first time the whole earth was in a drought. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But the drought season was only seven years. Right. After seven years, these guys were supposed to go back, but they refused to go back. Mm -hmm. To the point Joseph said, listen, guys, the day you guys live here, don't leave my bones here because I will not be in a land that is not ours. Yeah. Take me back where I came from. Mm -hmm. If you look at our African traditions, in our African tradition, mm -hmm. you are usually buried in the lands of your fathers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's true. If you look at Abraham, all these people, they were buried in the lands of their fathers. Wow. That is why Joseph said, please, you will take me back Take my bones back. Mm -hmm. He didn't even want his bones. His spirit is God. He said, I don't even want my bones to remain. Mm -hmm. Take me back. That's yeah. true. That's true. Okay. So many of you enter or introduce bondage into your family mm -hmm. because you want to live beyond your means mm -hmm. too quickly. Ah, yeah. That's good. Teach Papa. That's good. And the only way you break this is not I break it in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. No, there is something you have to do to correct it spiritually. Yeah. Okay. And then there is work you have to do physically. Yeah. Yeah. And then you become liberated. Amen. Then none of the people who come from you will ever be bound. Amen. Wow. Amen. 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 This is why purification of the blood is necessary. Yes. Let me give you an example. Amen. I am of Lebanese and Congolese descent, mm -hmm. right? My mom, my mom is, uh, um, uh, did, why did I say Lebanese? Because <laughs> 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 Joe is here. What is it called? Uh, Iran. Because uh, Iranian, 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 Iranian yeah. and Congolese yeah. descent. There you go. Okay? Yeah. Now, if you look at America, mm -hmm. okay, I'm just giving you examples. Mm -hmm. If you look at America, why do you think we have successful black people in America? Mm -hmm. yeah. But if you notice, there is something that, when was uh, slavery lasted for how long? 200 years. Mm. Okay. Yeah. 400. 400. In America, 400? 400, <laughs> 400, okay. It was a minute. Forgive me. Mm -hmm. 400 years, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. 400 years. Yes, sir. 400 years, it lasted. Mm. And it's been how long since slavery? About 200. 17 years. It's been a minute. Yeah. Two, one, 100. Years. No, it's been a while. 100, 200. Let's see who knows history. I want to show you something we that we were liberated in what, 1776? Now it's 2021. Mm. How long, when, uh, how long has it been? 245 years. 245 years. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's been 245 years. Mm -hmm. Okay. Since African Americans were released. Mm -hmm. yeah. <coughs> but do you realize that many of us mm -hmm. are still, still bound? Yes. Mm -hmm. We're Speech still in bondage. Yes. Not because anybody is holding you. Yes. Listen to me. I'm just being honest. Teach mm -hmm. Papa. You have every, me, I'm an African, I came to this country, and God opened doors for me according to the destiny of God that he gave me. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's not because I had it easy. Mm -hmm. You guys who know close, you know my story. It Amen. was never easy. Amen. But in my DNA, there is no DNA or there is no program of bondage mm -hmm. in That's me. So my mindset mm -hmm. is not influenced by something that somebody is trying to put me down. Even though there is somebody that may be wanting to put you down because right. that's the nature of life. That's yeah. Somebody will always want to cast you down. Yes, mm -hmm. that's true. It's just the way life is. Mm -hmm. If it's mm -hmm. not the devil, it's a human being who is jealous of you, who doesn't yeah. think you should advance. There is yes. somebody somewhere who wants you to be 
below. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's just how it is. Mm -hmm. But if you speak to people, somebody is always speaking about how, you know, we are being put down, we are being this, we are being done that, we are being done this, mm -hmm. we are being done that. But take, let's take an example, Jews. Mm -hmm. Man. Jews don't talk like that. They don't. Yeah, no. There is no mindset of bondage, yet they have been also enslaved before. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Indians don't talk like that. Mm -hmm. Indians from India don't talk like that. Mm -hmm. Not at all, they don't talk like that. That's true. Mm -hmm. Because even though Indians, if you go to like uh, uh, Gandhi went to South Africa to liberate Indians. Mm -hmm. You know this, you're South, uh, South African. You're not South African, um, yeah. but you're from Southern Africa. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know you know this, mm -hmm. Indians in, 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 in South Africa were slaves. They were brought mm -hmm. from India, they were made slaves. Yeah. You, you, you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Some of them were even taken to the islands. If you go to like Trinidad, you go to Jamaica, mm -hmm. they even eat roti, they are everywhere and this happened. But if you investigate them, mm -hmm. they don't have that mindset anymore. Yeah. That's true. That's true. No, they don't. Mm -hmm. Do you know why they don't? Look at their lifestyle. I'm not saying all of them don't. Mm -hmm. Majority don't. Yeah, the look, look at them. Mm -hmm. Every 7-Eleven you go to, Every 7-Eleven you go to, mm. hello, how are you doing? <laughs> All of them, they own it. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Now I'm being serious. You're not lying. You're not lying. All of them own it, but do you know how they do it? Mm. They, one of them comes, they contribute money, he gets a store. He hires some of their people who are coming. Yes. They all work together. They raise that store, raises money for another one to open yes, another true. store. Yeah. They are eradicating it from their system because they have come to a land that they have become free. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They cannot move with the mind of bondage. Mm -hmm. are, that is I, I don't get it. I don't, if, I don't know if you're understanding what yeah. I'm saying. Yeah. They help each other because they yeah. understand. <laughs> Jeez. Don't yeah. stop now. Wow. Don't stop now, Papa. Please. It's true, Papa. Teach. Please. But yeah. anyone that doesn't realize that this thing is in the blood. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Let me give you an example. Do you know Africans who are slaves in Africa? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The Congo has not been ruled by a Congolese without any destabilization mm -hmm. for more than 400 years. Mm -hmm. yeah. Congo is the richest, this is the country of my father. Mm -hmm. The Congolese nation is the richest nation on the earth. Mm -hmm. There is no nation on earth that has more natural resources than the Congo. Zero. Go look at it online. Wow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The waterfalls in the Congo have enough power to power the whole of Africa and to power even the EU with electricity. Mm -hmm. wow. But the Congo, most of the parts of Congo have no power. Most. Wow. They've been stealing diamonds, gold, uranium, coltan, all these phones that we are using yeah. to mm -hmm. iPhones, these flat screen TVs. Yeah. They are, the, the mineral is called coltan. Mm -hmm. The Congo produces about 70 to 80 percent of coltan. Wow. wow. But the country is poor. But you will never meet a Congolese person that has the mindset of a slave. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Until now, the Congo is still being messed up, but you will never find them with the mindset of a slave. Mm -hmm. Wow. They always believe life can be better. We're going to work. We're going to take our kids to Europe. Or even here, we're going to build our homes. Mm -hmm. There are people who are struggling. There are people who have a slave mentality mm -hmm. whereby uh, nothing will never, will never ever work for me. Mm -hmm. But it is not because of somebody holding me down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just the DNA in them to make them poverty. It's a poverty spirit mm -hmm. yes, yes. program in their blood. Yes. Mm -hmm. But now I'm just talking about bondage and slavery. So there is serious cleansing that people need. Mm -hmm. Serious one. Mm -hmm. Because if you don't understand, there will be some things that are just passing on from you to another you, to another person, to another person. So it means that you need to change patterns of your life to alter the DNA, Amen. to contradict that DNA, not Amen. only prayerfully, wow. but there are prophetic signs and tokens you need to do to reverse it. Wow. Yeah. You have to yeah. reprogram it. Wow, that makes sense. That makes so wow. much sense. Mm, that's wow. powerful. Wow. That makes so much Teach sense, us, Papa. There are prophetic signs and tokens that you need to do to reverse these things. Mm. It's not just a matter of rubber shire. Mm. I cancel poverty. No. How many of you have canceled poverty or still in poverty? Mm. 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 Teach, Papa. Ooh, 
huge correctors. Hey, hey. There is a way to pray and, and things will change. Mm. Amen. But there are prophetic signs and tokens that need to follow. Amen. Yeah. Amen. If those things are not in place, you are in trouble. You're in trouble. Mm. Uh, if you can hear me, type fire. And I want you to keep fire, sharing fire, this. Fire. Fire. fire, fire, fire. Wow. Ooh, ooh, ooh. If, if a parent, I know like most of the people who end up being alcoholic. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me give you an example. Anyone who struggles with alcohol most of the time. Mm -hmm. yeah. 99.99% of the time. Yeah. Somebody way down the line, mm. especially I'll give you like Africans, they used to cook alcohol. Mm. They used to brew alcohol. Wow. Mm -hmm. You will notice that either somebody in their family worked somewhere where they were selling alcohol mm. and they started consuming it. And some people haven't even consumed it. They were just involved in the business of selling it. Mm. The moment they begin to do that, that thing enters their DNA. The people who come from them will be bound by the same thing. Wow. Because remember, whatever feeds you becomes part of you. So Jesus is That's making powerful. his apostles eat his flesh and body. Why? To become a part because of it God. becomes part of him. Mm. So good. Mm. 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 Like I'll give you an example. Okay, I'll give you an example. Mm. I bet you Jill's child will do music. Wow. Mm. Prophesy. Yeah, do you know why? Prophesy. Do you know why? The father got heavily introduced into it. Mm -hmm. He started really doing it, even though maybe somebody from his family never did music. Mm -hmm. But because he got good at it and he noticed that he has the talent and he learned some things and he's getting better at it, whatever, mm -hmm. he's programming it inside. It's, it's in his blood. Whatever is happening to him is happening to his child. Before you know it, Amen. Yeah. Amen. you are an amazing athlete. Mm -hmm. Your, your physical gifts came from your mother's side, mm. I believe. Your mom's mm. family, they are really long, right? Mm. Yeah. Your dad's family too. Your mom's pretty tall. They're not athletic. Okay, but how <laughs> tall is your mother? She's like 60. Okay, mm. that's tall. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that, that's, yeah. tall. That's, that's tall. tall. That's tall. Uh -huh. So your mom's tall. Mm -hmm. Your father's athletic. Mm. You know, mm. Papa Mike is a strong guy. Mm -hmm. But Papa Mike is a musician. Even though you can go, you, you play internationally, you travel mm -hmm. the world. They give you music, you start writing music, it's like, okay, when did you start writing? You know, you know, it's just something I do. Mm. Why? It is in your blood, you can't escape it. Yeah. yeah. It's in you. So good. That makes sense, that makes sense. It's just what is inside of you, whether you like it or not. Mm. That's true. It is what it is, that's, that's, ju that's just what it is. That's true. Mm -hmm. You are speaking facts, Papa. Yeah. Whether Andrew likes it or not, he will mm. prophesy. Mm. Whether he likes it or Let's not, say. he will do music. Yeah. Whether he likes it, these are things that are already inside of him. He can't escape it. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. That's true. Amen. He can't. That's Amen. Very true. It's not happening. Mm -hmm. So if you're going to break the cycle mm -hmm. of bondage, you have to understand first of all where it is located. Mm. Mm. Okay. So blessings and curses flow through the blood. Mm. Wow. What does it mean to break a curse? Teach us. Mm. To break a curse means to stop the flow of that thing in your bloodline. Okay. Mm. You are breaking the continuity of it. You are disconnecting it. Wow, mm. that's good. You don't destroy a curse. You break it. Mm. <laughs> Teach Papa. Wow. <laughs> All right. Listen. <laughs> Is somebody getting yeah. it? Yes, Papa. Yeah. The reason why yeah. you're breaking it is you're breaking so that it cannot continue. Wow. Yeah. It stops. Yes. Amen. <laughs> That's so good. This is deep. Wow. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That's deep. Yeah. Mm. We don't so, <laughs> mm. so to break a curse, mm -hmm. 
is to disconnect. Mm. How many people say, oh yeah, the curse was broken by Jesus. It is the truth. The mm. Lord Jesus did every provision mm -hmm. possible. Every provision possible for mm. us to be saved. Mm -hmm. The Bible says you were bought. Mm. Why were you bought mm. into freedom? It doesn't say that you were paid for and you were given freedom. Mm -hmm. You were bought. Mm. Mm. Choose ye today yeah. whom you will serve. It means that you have no choice, you'll be a slave to somebody. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Woo, you, you have to repeat that, please. You, you did that. No, no, God is saying that. Choose ye today whom you're going to serve. <laughs> because you will serve somebody. Yep. Wow. This is powerful. Wow. wow. Hey. This is powerful. Wow. Good. Choose. So now the question is this. Oh, that's crazy. Man, the that's question crazy. is this. Who did you choose? Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. And how did you choose them? Because you notice it is actions that have an effect on your DNA. I'm going to show you something really strange Amen. in the Bible. Amen. I believe it's Leviticus 11. Let me show you 14, 14, 14. That's where we do something. not read our Bibles. <laughs> what? No comment. <laughs> this is too much. The what? Are you there, people? If you are there, just type fire. 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 Okay, I want you to read Le uh, Leviticus chapter 14. Amen. You are going to read from verse 3, mm -hmm. verse 13 to 14. Amen. Leviticus 14, verse 13 to 14. Amen. And it says, And he shall slay the lamb in the place where he shall kill the sin offering and the burnt offering, in the holy place. Mm -hmm. For as the sin offering is the priest's, mm -hmm. so is the trespass offering. Mm -hmm. It is most holy. Mm -hmm. And the priest shall take some of the blood of the trespass offering, mm -hmm. and the priest shall put it upon the tip of the right ear of him that is to be cleansed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And upon the thumb of his right hand, and upon the great toe of his right foot. Mm -hmm. And the priest shall take some of the log of oil and pour it into the palm of his own left hand. Stop right there. This is a very strange ritual. Mm. Mm -hmm. This is what God told Moses, how people are going to be cleansed, even priests who are going to be dedicated mm -hmm. wow. to serve. Wow. wow. Do you realize the Levite's life was to serve God? Mm -hmm. They never had a regular job. Mm -hmm. right. right? Yeah, that's true. The Levite's work was to actually just serve God. Right. Wow. Now, let me show you how weird this is. Okay. God is saying, first they need to be washed. They will be washed. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then they will take their sin offering. Mm -hmm. And after the sin offering is slaughtered and is burnt before the Lord, mm -hmm. the priest will make sure to collect some of the blood of the lamb. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Before the anointing oil is put on them, they will take some of the blood of the lamb. Mm -hmm. They will take the oil, the, the, the blood. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you see, let me tell you something. Jesus. Me and, uh, and I said this earlier. Yes. I said this earlier. I said me and uh, uh, Prophet EJ were talking in the morning. Mm -hmm. And we were just discussing that. Listen, you know, the truth is 
if actually we we people know how to walk with God, it would look like juju. Yes, mm. yes. Wow. That's true. God is telling Moses, take blood. Yes. You will anoint their right ear. Mm. Put it on their right ear. Mm. On their right ear lobe. You will apply the blood. For seven days they have to do this ritual. Mm -hmm. Take the blood, put it on their right thumb. Mm -hmm. Take the blood again and put it on their right toe. And then now you can pour the oil they have been cleansed. For seven days do this ritual. Wow. Why the right ear? Yeah. Why the right thumb? He just, he just and why the right big toe? Mm. Mm. Yes. I want you to go to prophetlovey.com. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to go and give to God. Amen. 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 And if the spirit wow. permits me, I will tell you why. Amen. Wow. Amen. Wow. Let me tell you the truth. You can go search anywhere. You will never know why. Wow. I know why. Yeah. Grab something that means something to you and say, Lord, as you are unlocking this revelation Amen. to be free from bondage, Amen. I honor you by giving you this. Remember today is the, what day is today? 13th. The 13th. The 13th. Wow, what's so, so powerful. Yeah. So, so you're going to get a seed of 713. Uh -huh. mm. A seed that will have the number 7, number 1, and number 3. Amen. Amen. If you have 713, 7 million 13, 7 billion 13, mm. go and give it quickly. Amen. And say, Lord, on this day, I mark the day that I'm being transitioned. Yes. Mm. And I'm being cleansed in the name of Jesus. Yeah. And when you come back, I will tell you. I'll tell you, go quickly, go quickly.
Sure. 
my voice to honor
Glory be to God. Now, I don't want you guys to be angry with me because Uncle Jello said we need a part two. <laughs> it's right there. Li- Liberia Ninja said, Papa said, he said, nah. He said, Papa, we need, we need a part three. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. This is part two, technically. Kind of, I guess. Like <laughs> so it, it'll be a part two for that part. Amen. So, so, so because it's a whole subject. A I don't know if I should cram it all into one thing. If Bishop Guru promises to be back tomorrow with his dangerous Amen. suits. Look at his cute clapping. <laughs> <laughs> so dignified. <laughs> so, listen, children of God, these things are very serious things. Amen. They are very serious things. And tomorrow I'll go deep on the why God did that to the priests. Mm -hmm. And uh, what's it called? We, because it's a whole subject. If I cram it into two, you won't benefit from it. Yeah. But I will tell you this. If you don't learn to give your burdens to Jesus and you become anxious for things, you're introducing anxiety into your blood. Wow. Your children will have anxiety. Yeah. Wow. They'll be young and they don't know why they're anxious about everything. Wow. So whatever it is that you do, you're introducing something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. Wow. You do good things, you're introducing. Do you know the reason why we say in the name of Jesus or in the character of Jesus, Mm -hmm. in the way Jesus would do it, is we are claiming a person and a personality that never did anything wrong. So that personality can stand before Satan and say, Satan, get out, because Satan owes, he doesn't owe Satan anything. You right now, if you stood before a demon and said, demon, come out. Demon will say, you, we own you. We own your children. We own everything. That's why you find that the sons of Sceva tried to cast out a devil. And the devil says, Jesus, we know. Paul, we know. Who are you? Mm -hmm. Remember, your identity is in your blood, not in your name, not in your face. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's good. So there are certain things that you will never be free from. unless you know the truth of why you are in that place in the first place. Mm. This is why being somebody that receives is a dangerous thing, because what are you receiving? Mm -hmm. Mm. Some of you have become beggars, not because you are actually a beggar. You just like receiving things for free. Mm. If I take this water I'm drinking, mm-hmm. my water, I've drunk. Mm-hmm. Because it is mine, I have put my nature and my character in it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If you take this water and drink it, you are receiving what is of me in you. Mm-hmm. You know, funny enough, I always laugh at this because this is always funny. Christians always say, you know, they are transfer of spirits when you lay hands. Mm-hmm. Can I tell you something? Have you ever seen witchcraft people transferring spirits by laying hands? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> These are people who don't know anything spiritual. Shine. Jesus. Shine. That's deep. That's true. <laughs> Let me speak to man, master of, of mystics. I, have you ever seen, no, just nod your head yes or no. Have you ever seen a juju person laying hands on somebody to release something on them? It doesn't work like that. The anointing can be transferred like that. Mm -hmm. The Holy Spirit can be transmitted like that. Mm -hmm. You can't, that's not how you transfer spirits. (laughs) Chai, break it down. Uh, No, I can't break it down because it's not the subject. Wow. Small, small. Oh, lawless. I, I don't know if somebody's <laughs> getting what I'm saying. <laughs> we hear you, Papa. <laughs> Every evil initiation, they do it by blood. Mm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You are initiated into the family of God by blood. That's true. Wow. wow. 
That's good. Life is in the blood. So if I want you to live a certain life, I have to transfer it through what? The blood. Wow. Because if it goes through the blood, you have no choice but to do it. Aish. Mm. Wow. I don't know if somebody is getting what I'm saying. We hear you. So tomorrow we're going to go in depth. Amen. Tomorrow's Wednesday, right? Yes, Before sir. prophetic service. Yeah. Tomorrow is our grand finale of bloodlines. Because I can teach this forever, because there's a lot of things. But I'm only touching the major things. And by God's grace, you will receive the wisdom to know how to deal with certain things. Amen. Mm -hmm. Like an example is this. The Bible says, blessed it is to give than to receive. Mm -hmm. Now, come to me, son. Give me, give me your bottled water next to you, the one that is right next to you there, the empty one you can bring. This is anything you give in life, mm. okay, mm -hmm. that pertains to substance, mm -hmm. carries the DNA of your blood. Mm. Whenever you give your offering in church, you're not giving money. God is looking at the blood. Yes, wow. yes. Wow. Good. There is no sacrifice that will you will ever give to God that will work that never came from you. Yeah. Wow. Now this is real. Let's say I give you money to go and give to God. Yes. That is not your money. Wow. wow. The only one that God will actually accept is what you Thanks. suffered for. Wow. wow. Because it is infused with your blood. My wow. That makes sense. That's good. So if you take this now, I am the priest. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. You take this and you give it to me. Mm -hmm. And I touch it. Mm -hmm. Because of what is in me, it destroys, it breaks the yoke that is in you. Wow. So that thing, because it's connected to me, it cannot transfer anymore. It gets broken and it also gets broken in you. Mm -hmm. So that thing stops because you introduce, you see, every time you're wow. giving, you're receiving, you are connecting bloodlines. Mm. Wow. So if it gets to a point where it is stopped, it cannot continue, mm. then it breaks from here and it breaks in you and it breaks from where it came from. Wow. It goes back to the source and it stops Eesh. because it can't continue. Wow. Chai, that's good. Wow. That makes sense. I don't know if it's making sense. It's making sense. sense this is why you give in church. You don't give in church like an example. Uh, uh, Bishop, you said you can see it. There's a good example he gave. He said that, a lot of third world countries borrow money. They, they're actually given grants and given grants and given grants until now they graduated to borrowing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. But all those years of being given, why didn't they change? Mm -hmm. Billions of dollars of aid to Iran's I don't know what project. <laughs> Billions of dollars for this project in Africa. Mm -hmm. yeah. These water wells, how many are they going to build? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know if it's making sense. Yes. <laughs> if you're on Facebook and you want to rewatch this, you can only find it on YouTube. All my videos are only on YouTube now. Uh, if, you're on, if you're on Facebook, subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's where you're going to find the videos. Mm -hmm. yeah. Everybody's building wells. They're billions of dollars. Why didn't they do anything? Because whenever America is giving oh. Kenya, whenever the UK is giving Sudan, they are giving their problems away. Mm. Notice these countries started having problems when they became greedy, the, the first world countries. Wrong. They became greedy and they started borrowing money for things that they never needed to borrow money because of politics. Wow. Immediately, those countries also became in debt. They also started doing bad. That's true. If you look at the America of the 90s and the 80s and the America of today, to completely two different Americas. That's true. Yeah. That's true. And the problem with the spirit of debt is that when it enters your DNA, mm -hmm. you can't stop borrowing. Wow. 
So you just keep going deeper and deeper and deeper unless you do prophetic signs and tokens to reverse what is in the blood. Wow. Give us, give us a sign. So tomorrow we're going to go deeper into this. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Amen. That was okay, let me see. Some people have some questions. That's a question. good question. About a blood transfusion. Okay. Want me to read? Let's see. Any questions? Any good deep questions? Okay. Someone you said, Prophet, I have a question. If someone gets a blood transfusion, should they deny the help? No. Because you see, the problem is this. Remember that if you are sanctified, you're purified. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Remember, your blood in you is anyway coming from the same source ultimately. Mm -hmm. yeah. It went through different ways, but it all comes from Adam, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. The issue is not you. The issue is not the blood coming in. Mm -hmm. The issue is do you have what it takes to cleanse the blood? Mm. That's the issue. Uh, yeah. You do need yeah. blood. That's see, there are like other religious groups that, you know, they don't believe in blood transfusion. Mm -hmm. Jehovah Witnesses, you die if you don't get blood transfusion. You know, but it's <laughs> foolish because you already are a sinner. <laughs> That's as good. long as it doesn't have, have any incurable diseases, then that's fine. Right. Mm -hmm. But they always see the blood type and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. But they did that because they understood. You see, even these cultish groups, they know the spiritual truth. They yeah. were doing that because they understood the spiritual truth. That's but true. the problem is they don't understand prophetic signs and tokens to cleanse these things. Mm. Wow. Mm -mm -mm. That's the issue. Teach us. So is it bad? No. In a short answer. How do you, how do you break from break blood, from bad bloodline? Some Brenda asked, mm -hmm. how do you break from bad b blood, uh, blood bad bloodlines? Say that three times. It's very uh, simple. Okay. Uh, it's, it's very simple. Which family do you belong to? Abraham was a uh, was a Abraham was uh, a, a Babylonian or a Samarian. That's where Abraham came from. Mm -hmm. Abraham wasn't a Jew. He actually served idols. Mm -hmm. Then God came to him and delivered him from his people. Then God told him, "Get out of your people. Come out of your people. Go into a land I will show you." Mm -hmm. So God separates Abraham from his people. Mm -hmm. Why did He separate him from his people? Because they did not serve the Lord our God. The God who came to Abraham. And when God took him, God changed his name. The moment God changed him, the guy started becoming rich. The guy started prospering. And then God changed his name even to be the father of many nations. Right. Yeah. Changed his wife's name. Yeah. Now, the Bible doesn't call us the descendants of his fathers. We are called the descendants of Abraham. Yeah. Right. Yeah. We are not even called the descendants of Adam. We are called the descendants of who? Abraham. 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 And Abraham made a nation called Israel. It is Israel that came from Abraham. Mm. So a man that came from a pagan country is making a whole different country. So whose family do you belong to that transfers you into a different nation wow. altogether? Wow. Wow. So you changing your name doesn't change it unless you belong to a family. Wow. Okay. So an example is, let's say I come from a family that has a lot of spiritual issues. Mm -hmm. I say, my name is John. The identity is not in the name. Mm -hmm. The identity is in the blood. Wow. Even if I become John the Baptist, changes <laughs> nothing. Mm -hmm. Yes. Phew. Even if I become John the Beloved, it changes nothing. Mm. Even if I change my name to uh, uh, Enoch, it changes nothing. Mm -hmm. There was a man that I saw on my uh, uh, IG sent me a message. I actually died. His name was Prophet Terminator. <laughs> <laughs> Even if you have a deep name, Seraphim Archangel, Prophet to the Nations, you're still under a curse, you're still under a curse. Because it's your blood that you're identified by, mm. wow. not what you call yourself. Your name only matters if you are reborn into a family. Wow. Mm. That's good. Because you can't respond to the name that you used to respond to. Mm. Okay. Mm. 
Somebody asked, how is it possible that some people can't get possessed? Because of their bloodline. Why didn't, why didn't Samson get possessed? L even Samson was, was a, a joke compared to uh, the master of polygamy, <laughs> a.k.a. Solomon. Why didn't Solomon ever get possessed? David himself, David died. Let me show you how intense this is. I'm not telling you to do this because it's a sin unto God. Mm -hmm. David died. They brought two young women into David's bed to make sure that he's dead. What does that tell you about David? My guy was, mm. heesh, yep. loved a woman. This is a man after God's heart. He died. They brought two young women to make sure he is dead. So the doctor tested and said, but there's something he really likes. Let's make sure that he's really dead. Let's send two young women. <laughs> wow. Imagine he gets up. Wow. Jeez. Mm -mm -mm. Don't try this at home. You will die. <laughs> <laughs> Chief on Cannon said David had an appetite. Save us. Hey, God. <laughs> What's the question? Says Papa, are we able to break any bloodline curse in our life ourselves, or do we need someone higher in the spirit to do it for us? You can't, you can never self deliver. That's why there's always a deliverer sent. Amen. Mm. Amen. Whether directly or indirectly, you can't, you can't self-deliver. Wow. It doesn't work like that. How do we deal with idols? You just shift families. Amen. Amen. Anything else interesting? Facebook doesn't have a... Uh, somebody said, deep, David, Chai. Uh, which deep are we talking Good about now? <laughs> <laughs> now I'm just looking at them. I'm reading this. Now. Why are you choosing violence? <laughs> God is good. Amen. <laughs> Lord Jesus. <laughs> Lord Jesus. Mm -mm. So again, if you want to rewatch this, you need to go to... Uh, Someone asked, how do we shift families? Uh, tomorrow we'll cover most of these things. Mm -hmm. How do I disconnect uh, myself from a spiritual yeah, wife? It's very easy. It's not difficult. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Amen. Listen to me, people. Don't fall for something that is very common that people fall for. I'm going to say something that will shock you. I'll show you something. Amen. John chapter 5, verse 6. Amen. And it says, when Jesus saw him lie and knew that he had been now a long time in that case, he saith unto him, Wilt thou be made whole? The impotent man answered him, Sir, I have no man, when the water is troubled, to put me into the pool. Mm -hmm. But while I am coming, another steppeth down before me. Jesus saith unto him, Rise, take up thy bed, and walk. And immediately the man was made whole and took up his bed and walked. Mm -hmm. And on the same day was the Sabbath. The Jews there- Now go to verse 14, listen to Jesus. Verse 14. Mm -hmm. Afterward, Jesus findeth him in the temple mm -hmm. and said unto him, Behold, thou art made whole, sin no more, lest a worse thing come unto thee. So what is deliverance? Sin no more. Deliverance is when the DNA of sin stops operating in you. True deliverance is the confrontation of your ignorance so that you live for God. 
we do that 24-7. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but if you're not in a solid place for the word of God, you are still not delivered. Right. Tomorrow you'll be in bondage worse than before. Yeah. Mm. Yes, and I've been delivering people since I was, um, I can remember. Mm -hmm. Since my young days. And I never used to understand sometimes, why would somebody get such big freedom and they find themselves in a worst place? I realized deliverance is by the word of God. Mm -hmm. Casting out a devil, Jesus was very wise. Every time he delivered somebody, he said, hey, don't sin no more. Mm -hmm. How do you stop sinning without the word? If the word doesn't change you, purify you, sanctify you, mm -hmm. you'll go back to what you used to do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. So true deliverance is not screaming and hollering. I can do that, I do it. But we remove that because that is what sin produced. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you remove the sin and you remove the spirit, then the spirit has nowhere to stay because the spirit lives in sin. Mm -hmm. So if you take away sin, you have nowhere for the spirit, spirit. to live. Yeah. So good. the only way you remain delivered is not by praying, by stopping to sin. Mm. Can I tell you something shocking? Maybe Please. I shouldn't say this. Shock us. Nah, I'll leave Say this it. alone. Ah. A person who lives a pure life, demons cannot enter them. Wow. 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 Amen. Father, I thank you for everybody that is watching. And I pray that they will be transformed by reason of this word. Thank you, Father, that you have begun the purification process in all of us. And I pray that, Lord, our light will shine to reveal you unto the world. I thank you, Father, for your goodness, your kindness, who you are, and we thank you that you do not change. In the name of the Lord Jesus, amen. amen. Listen, don't miss tomorrow. It will be deep. Remember, prophetic school is coming. Amen. I am extremely excited about this because healed was deep, but prophetic school will be extremely extremely scary deep yes. Amen. Amen. it will be amazing Amen. and it's going to be on August 23rd to 25th yes. so it's gonna be a Monday Tuesday Wednesday yeah. two sessions a day mm -hmm. and then Thursday we have prophetic service mm -hmm. Friday we hang out in LA see the city mm -hmm. Saturday we may do something small you never know Sunday we have a big service and it's done. Amen. You don't want to miss this. <laughs> it's going to be too big. Amen. August the 23rd to the 25th, you can go to prophetlovi.com and register now. And I think there's also things for hotels, right? Yeah. That they are working on, I yeah. think. They're working on it. They are working on it so you'll be able to book your hotel like really at a great discount and it's going to be amazing. And uh, 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 online also, people can watch online, right? Yeah. And all that stuff. All that is being set up, so you don't want to miss it because it will be incredible. It mm. probably will be one of the best prophetic schools ever. Amen. 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 Yeah. So I love you. May the Lord Jesus bless you, and I will see you manana. Amen. Shalom. Amen.